the roads to be constructed according to the commissioner works Mrs. Lillian Stephen Coyote are Yolde Party, Sabon Peki Ganye, Asiku Abubakar Road and Numan. Others are Hamanyero Road in Yola Town and Vinikalan Road sited across the bridge. Mrs. Stevens said the roads which are allocated to different contractors are expected to be completed at a particular period of time. Commenting on the issue of compensation raised by some residents of the affected areas, the commissioner advised them not to panic as the ministry is ready to compensate anybody affected in the process. You see, if you look around, we have constructed so many roads and there's no single area that anybody from that locality has complained of. You know, compensation. In fact, we, complete, uh, we compensate even illegal structures. So the issue of compensation is not really an issue. Anybody that is affected, house, shop, whatever, will be adequately compensated. The council has also approved the release of some amount of money to some contractors to facilitate the work, has testified by the Commissioner of Information and Strategy, Comrade Ahmed Sajo. Uh, for now, council has approved the release of 500 million naira so that the job will be completed uh, on time. Uh, the, the work on Atiku Abubakar Way will cost the state 585 uh, million. 543,563 naira. Uh, again, there will be a release uh, of about 500 million to the contractor because the completion period is about just three months. Uh, other roads to be constructed, as you mentioned, will cost the government about 3 billion 646 million 503, uh, and they total about 14.7 kilometers in Ganye, Numan, Guyuk, and Yola. In the area of education, Comrade Sajo said the council has received a draft on primary education and post-primary board and is critically studying the document for implementation. The council has similarly approved the sum of 1.8 billion naira for the implementation of agricultural projects as confirmed by the Commissioner of Agriculture, Mr. Waziri Haruna. The council had been very kind to the agriculture sector uh, in this day today. Uh, we have had approvals running to about 1.8 billion naira uh, for conduct of uh, uh, implementation of various uh, activities, uh, projects uh, in the state, uh, which includes uh, procurement of agricultural equipment uh, to provide private sector-led mechanization services in the state, uh, procurement of various uh, inputs. Uh, for Adama farmers uh, to be able to carry out both rain fed and uh, irrigation season activities. Nuhu Maunde, Tusk News.